Hello everybody, Science1324 here, and today I'm going to show you how to build this battery pack that I built for my electric scooter. First thing that I did was check the voltage on each of the batteries, and then once I had figured out what the voltage was, I wrote it on the side. Now the reason I did that was so that I could arrange them into sets of three, and each set of three had similar voltages. The next thing to do was to weld them together using this nickel strip and it would go across the tops and bottoms of each of the sets of three so that it could hold them together and conduct electricity. So here's a sped up video of me with my homemade spot welder, which didn't work quite as well as I'd hoped it would, but it worked enough to hold these together. And if you guys are interested, I would be more than willing to do a tutorial on how I built that as well. Anyway, so once I had welded all of those together, I started arranging them with the positive and negative of each cell alternating. And of course, I used hot glue to hold each of the cells together to build up the main battery pack. However, in hindsight, I probably would have hot glued them together before I started welding them. It would have made it a lot easier. But this is all of the cells now. They've been hot glued together and welded. At least, each of the cells have been welded to the batteries in the cell. Now it's time to weld some strips across to attach each of the cells together to get the 24 volts that I needed for the scooter. And here's a video of me putting more hot glue on. Now with each of the cells, you want to make sure that it maintains the uh, voltage in each of the cells. And in order to do that, I have this device, which is a battery management system. It has all of these wires that come out of the back of it, and you connect each of those white wires up to each of the cells in the battery pack, and that helps to maintain the voltage level in each of those cells when you charge and discharge the battery. So here you can see where I've welded the positive to the negative of the cell next to it to add up to make the 24 volts that I needed. Next, it's time to attach the battery management system to all of the cells. Of course, the first thing I needed to do was attach the battery management system to the battery pack itself. And for this, I used more hot glue, which so far has held it on just fine. The next thing I needed to do was attach the negative terminal of my battery pack to the terminal on the side of the battery management system. And this is what will shut it off before it gets too low of a voltage. And as you can see here, it just literally runs straight from the negative of the battery pack into the battery management system. And then the post on the other side is where the negative from the system comes in. Now, I needed to attach the positive wire, which is the red wire, and the negative wire, which is the black wire, to the positive and negative of the battery pack, and then attach each of the white wires to each of the cells going down the pack in order for it to manage the voltage. So I had to adjust the length of each of the white wires and solder them on there. Unfortunately, the mistake I made when I was putting all these wires on was that I was not attaching them the way they needed to be attached. And I blame myself because I was super tired that day and was not thinking straight, unfortunately. But you need to attach the wires to the cells in a way coming from the red to the black. So each cell moving back on the battery pack is connected to each next wire working your way towards the black wire. And I did not connect them that way. So unfortunately, when I finally had it all soldered up and everything, it drained probably about half the cells in the battery pack to zero, which basically killed off the lithium ion batteries that were in that part. So as you can see I here, I did not connect them up correctly, which I have now remedied and connected them up correctly. The only problem is now I have to replace about five of the cells in the battery pack because they got drained to zero. So don't follow my example and hook them up randomly like I did. Make sure you follow the instructions and hook them up the correct way so your battery doesn't die. So if it had worked, I you connect the positive to the positive on the scooter, and then the negative would go to the other post on the battery management system, as you can see here with me poking it. And that's literally all I needed to do for it to work, and if I had connected the wires right the first time, it would have worked the first time. So that's it for this video. If you guys are interested, I will be doing another video once I have repaired my battery pack to show you how I installed it in the scooter itself and some of the other modifications I'm gonna be making to this scooter, which will be headlights and taillights and a few other things. So make sure you stay tuned for that, and thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.